upon officers' arrival, they did locate one gunshot wound victim. Um, later, the victim was pronounced dead at the scene by medical personnel. We have breaking news tonight on ABC 17 News at 10. A man is shot and killed in Northeast Columbia. Now here's what we know so far. Police went to Sylvan Lane near Paris and Clark Lane around 745. Police immediately called for backup surrounding a home there. We've confirmed at least one man is dead, but we're working to confirm the total number of victims. ABC 17's Lucas Geisler joins us live from the scene again. And Lucas, you are talking to residents tonight. And what else do you know at this point? Yeah, Marissa and Joey, a group milestone right here outside of the Deerfield Apartments for uh, 2016 in Columbia, the first, uh, the first shooting homicide that the city has seen this year. Now, what we've learned so far is that, as you mentioned, about quarter to eight is when police first received the call um, from several different people around here. We've had neighbors tell us they've heard shots anywhere from 10 to 15 shots heard. One person telling us that when they looked outside after that, they saw many different, uh, many younger looking people running out from the parking lot of Deerfield Apartments. And right now, I got a closer look of it since we, uh, can't, since we spoke to you at 9 o'clock, where we saw that they have this, uh, the second building back there completely blocked off right now, at least the back side of the building. They're investigating several different buildings here, though. Um, we do know that uh, there, will, there are at least 34 officers at one point here investigating the crime. 34 still uh, shown on scene right now. Spokeswoman Brianna Larimer says it could be several hours, uh, dozens of hours maybe, for them to piece all of this together. Right now they're still working to collect evidence. Um, there, it's a lot, rather large scene that they are um, looking for any, any evidence, whether it be gunshot um, or cartridges um, or bullets in the area. And all night has been a rather emotional scene out here where pretty intense faces have become bleary faces as the night goes on. Many people we've seen with tears in their eyes walking around near the scene. So far, they haven't released the name of the victim, but we will, of course, keep you updated when we get that information. Reporting live here in Columbia, Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News. 34 officers at one point. We're going to continue following this story throughout this newscast and also post details on our website at abc17news.com along with Twitter and Facebook.